Hello everyone and welcome- Wait, why, why are we back in the first game? It's supposed to be Thongs of Virtue, what? Death Bank, what are you doing here? Well, there's actually one little thing that I wanted to, sh to, uh, to show off in, in this that we got from the mayor for collecting all of the orphans. The, the summon orphan flute. Call forth an orphan to fight by your side. Orphans are cute when they fight. So why don't we actually just equip this for a moment? There, and there's our orphan that, that helps us fight. That, let's go see her in action. Let's go see her in action real fast before we actually go into the game we're meant to be playing here. Okay, Orphan? Are you that far behind, Orphan? Oh, we gotta wait for, uh, for the ability to be ready. Okay. And then we're gonna take take care of these these guys here. Alright, Orphan now. Battle. Orphan, you are not helping us at all. Okay, how much damage does the Orphan do? Orphan literally just... Is the orphan killing them in one shot? I don't know. But anyway, that's all that I wanted to show off in this game. That was it. That was it. Now moving on to Songs of Virtue. So last time in Death's Bank, in the amazing world of Death's Bank, what did we do? What did we accomplish? Well, at the very end of the game, well, actually, let's just talk a little bit prior to that. We rescued the orphans. Orphans of Justice was, was the name of the game. And we got the artifact. That was Death's Bank's mission. To get the artifact. He got the artifact, but then at the very end, Sandy told him that the, the artifact wasn't really all that important. And getting the orphans was Lord Von Prong's plan at luring, him, luring us to him so he could obtain our thong. Yes, he wanted our thong. Why? Because our thong has immense power. And we also discovered that Lord, Lord Von Prong himself had a, was wearing a thong. And Sandy said that these thongs are corrupting the people who are wearing them. So now it is our mission in Thongs of Virtue to find these thongs and obtain them. We must get rid of the corruption. So, let's, let's take a look at our settings real fast. We got our controls here. I'm using a controller, of course. Video settings. Have to do it in 1920 by 1080 because the game uh, doesn't scale very well past that point. So, it's being upscaled, pretty much. It's an, it is a bit of an older game, but yeah. Sound settings. Subtitles, of course. There we go. All right. And there is some downloadable content which are, was already incorporated into the game. So let's go ahead and begin a new game and see where we left off. After we defeated Lord Von Prom, we went behind his castle and uh, there was a little path there. And Sandy told us to uh, follow her over the bridge and we ended up in the battlefield. So let's go ahead and begin a brand new save. I should also mention that this game has a few bugs when it comes to loading your, your previous save. So I had to download a patch, which was not available on the Steam store. Surprisingly. So, yeah, I think this is all good here. Still a true story. Yes, this is still a true story, of course. to hear more. More of the hero to the downtrodden. The dispenser of justice. The vanquisher of evil. Known most of all as... Death's Bank. Death's Bank had defeated the evil Lord Von Prong and discovered his life's quest was a lie. For you see, the source of the tyrant's power was a thong. A thong like the one Death's Bank wore. A thong full of power, justice, and wedging. Death's Bank traveled north seeking answers, but some answers are best left unfound. 
Captured by his enemies, Deathspank was at his lowest point. But low points for heroes always lead to high adventure. Whoa, what's this? New content? And it's downloadable. Pinch me, I must be dreaming. Then stop pinching me because it's rude and I have a sword. So that, that is what he says when we when we get the DLC, because this game automatically comes with it. We get the Snowy Mountain Dungeon location to figure out where the Snowy Mountain Dungeon DLC is, which it's not anywhere close to where we are whatsoever. So we have some ways to go before we get to that area. Sometimes busy heroes overlook things. These things then find their way to dumpsters. They've never figured out how, and it's not important. Yeah, so this is our lost and found. If we drop important items, they will come back to the lost and found. Like scrap metal, apparently. Lost and found is empty. Yes. Here are some potatoes here. So yeah, Deathspank was actually captured. Now we're in this, like, orc camp. This mili military base. Uh. Hmm. So, Deathspank, I think it's finally time now for you to take your revenge back. Just like last time, we want to always equip best armor. Yes, we want that on. Look how scruffy we look, too. Gosh. We have our health items here. We have a few things of armor. We have our weapons. Only have one weapon for right now. Anyway, let's, let's continue on. Okay, here's our first enemy. Let's go ahead and destroy this sucker. Easy peasy. Semi-auto pistol, yes. There are many weapons I can use at any time and in any location. Assign weapons any place, easy to reach or aesthetically pleasing. So yeah, we can access the equipment menu screen. We've already done that. You do this incredibly exciting, non-specific thing. Do it often, citizen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now we have, look at that. We automatically have three items already. We have a fire axe, we have a sword, and we have a gun. Just like the first game, I mean, this is pretty much identical to the first game. It's just the, a continuation to the story. All the controls are the same, the items are the same. Well, actually, I think there's different types of weapons in here, but for the most part, everything plays pretty much exactly the same. And also, just like the first game, you will constantly get new items, new equipment, just so, so qu uh, quickly. Let's use, some, let's use our fire axe. So we have another new weapon here. Look at this. Na now we are maxed out on weapons. The double axe. Oh, that is what they have. Good to know. Oh, look. What do, what do you have, sir? Use yes. weapons of justice when the justice meter is full. Fill the meter by hitting enemies and then smother them. Enrich creamy justice. All right, so this is our this is our first justice weapon that we that we picked up, and at the bottom there there would be a justice meter, and when it fills up, we can use certain weapons that have a weapons of justice um, power to them, and it unleashes a uh, superpower. So why don't we actually let's see what our weakest weapon is? Honestly, I'm thinking of get getting rid of that darn fire axe. There we go. Yeah. So that was that uh, justice weapon right right there. Okay, that, that let us heal up by eating some of this chicken. No, Deathspank, you must eat the chicken. You are not vegetarian today. There we go. We can get interrupted from healing. If they attack us, so we have to kind of go to a special spot to be able to have them not mess up our ability to heal. And the justice meter will fill pretty quickly if you uh, block enough, if you do plenty of combos. The combat is actually rel relatively easy, but uh, if you don't block, you could be in a world of hurt. There we go. Get those fools. All right. We also can level up as well, if you look at the bottom there. Oh, look at it. What's this one? 
Stuns all nearby enemies for five seconds. I don't particularly care for those. I I like the electricity ones, and then the the uh, the spinning blades. So yeah, we we can level up. Then we can see our, our meter at the bottom. There we go. First quest. So here's all of our previous quests. We visited the Oracle. I need to talk to the Oracle again and find the location of the artifact. Wait, we already did, we already did that. A date with destiny. The gate to Lord Von Prong's courtyard is locked. I could t I could should talk to Ubrick to find out how to open it, as he was the last hero to fight Lord Von Prong. Rescue orphans. We have done this as well. I'll locate every one of those orphans and gently stuff them into this convenient orphan bag the mayor gave me. I'll search high and low until I gather every last one of those cute yet disgusting orphans. I can't help but feel they are my ticket into Lord Von Prong's castle. And then get the artifact. My quest for the artifact has been a long and treacherous journey fraught with peril. Legend says the artifact holds power beyond imagination that must be kept safe. Once again, the world looks to the hero of the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil, and defender of justice. Although, the artifact was just a bunch of baloney. It didn't do anything. So we have a few quests here. Escape, escape from the POW camp. POW camp, the POW camp, yeah. I should talk to the three POW soldiers. So now, now we have to have, have an escape plan to uh, to get out of here. Let's let's see that, that, let's see what these fools have to say. Greetings, fellow shower buddy. Dead Spike. I'm glad you're here. Of course you are. It's shower time soon. <laughs> True, but you know the plan that me and the boys are cooking up, right? Oh, what is your plan? No, but it smells delicious. Maybe if you hum a few bars. But if it involves. Whittling, I'm in. Hmm. Does it have a realistic depictions of violence? I, I like this one, but it smells delicious. No, but it smells delicious. Listen, we have a cunning plan of escape, and we need your help. I've never said no to a cunning plan, and I'm not starting today. There's a drawbridge northeast of here. We want you to lower it so we can leave. <laughs> Not sure I'd describe that as a plan, much less a cunning one. Unfortunately, there's one small obstacle that's still in need of a solution. The York Guard will never let you pass, Death Spike. Well, you know, we have a bunch of weapons, so maybe violence is the answer. Let's see. Violence is the answer. Excessive violence is the answer. Oh. Gratuitous violence is the answer. A tea party is the answer. I'm, I'm gonna choose a tea party. A tea party is the answer! We could do that, or we could disguise you to look less like, well, you- What's not fun? Right! I could dress up like a lady orc and distract him with my come-hither look! What a terrifying image. Just keep the disguise simple, Death Bank. Right! I will pose as a mild-mannered orc soldier and slip by undetected. Good. Once you clear the way, the rest of us can follow. Oh, and beware of the jungle beasts on the other side of the gate. They'll eat anything that moves, even laundry right off the clothesline. Oh no, not laundry right off the clothesline. We meet again, fellow prisoner. Let's see. Am I going to find an orc disguise on short notice? Yeah, that's let's see how he how he ended up here. By what misfortune have you ended up in this place, soldier? This story begins as all stories must. With a woman. Oh, Is this of course. Going to be the short version or the long version. My love for Sally Mae was deeper than a grown-up swimming pool. Sorry, the long version. <laughs> but a woman like Sally Mae would never marry a common man like myself. Hmm. Please make it stop. Make it stop. Do you hear a phone? I should go answer it. I just remembered that I'm late for the uh prison opera. Hmm. I like all of these. I think I'm gonna choose this one. Let's just, let's just, let's just be blunt with them. Please make it stop! Make it stop! Fine. I was shot down over Bo Kakel by orc cannons. Happy? Huh. Emerging from a coma would make anybody happy. How am I gonna find an orc disguise on short notice? The orc guards usually hang their laundry on clotheslines. You want me to do their laundry? No, I want you to wear it. Hmm. 
I remember you had a good idea for finding an orc disguise. Oh, he was just repeating what he said, yeah. Your guards usually hang their laundry on- Okay. Dismissed, soldier. Good luck, Death Bank. Oh, we will. We will break you out of here, guys. Leave it to us. Greetings, bunk buddy. Ah, oh, Death Bank, old chum. Impeccable timing. I assume you've been brought up to speed on our most recent escape attempt. Yes. We want to, uh, escape the, uh, dressing up as, uh, an orc. The one where I lower the drawbridge and get a cookie. Dig a complex series of tunnels with our teeth. <laughs> oh. Oh, I like that one. We fashion weapons out of bars of soap and shoe polish. We're like, oh, out of plastic spoons and duct tape. Overpower the guards with our seductive psychic. I I like this one. The one where we dig a complex series of tunnels with our teeth. That was last week's plan. We oh. have a better one now. You see, there is a drawbridge northeast of our position. If you lower the bridge and clear the way, we could just walk out. Easy peasy. But you've missed one crucial detail, Despank. You'll never get past the guard without showing the right papers. Hmm. Mastrismo will solve that. Testosterone will solve that. Silicone will solve that. Mutual respect and understanding will solve that. I like silicone. Silicon will solve that. Oh, let's not be so hasty, Death Spank. We are not without our advantages. It seems that literacy among orcs is rather non-existent. Meaning? They can't read. Oh, that is good to know. They're just waiting for... <laughs> They're just waiting for the movie version. This is what happens when you cut funding to the schools. Hey, gads, how are they know if their cereal contains rival flavor? <laughs> Reading is for nerds and, and hobos, anyway. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. R rival flavor it is. Gats! How will they know if their cereal contains riboflavin? The orc guard doesn't know the difference between ID papers and erotic equine poetry. Well, I'm thinking they would have slightly different pictures on the cover. That's why you're going to create your own documents. To avoid problems like that. Death Spank, old chap, we're counting on you. Oh gosh, I can't. I'm just cracking up so much at, at the riboflavin. Greetings, little soldier! Uh. Why do you keep calling me old? Do I? Old chum, old boy, old chap. Just terms of affection, old boy. All legally acceptable. I don't dye my hair, you know. It's all natural. What's left of it, anyway? I don't even see your hair, Despec. Do you have any idea how I can forge an ID? How do you think it should be done? Well, first, I'd find something to write with. I guess next I'd need something to write on. By Jove, I think he's got it. And I'd draw a bunch of dinosaurs shooting lasers at a helicopter. Perhaps not. Yeah, they, they might be able to actually see that, you know? Time for me to spring into action! Godspeed, old chum! Ah, calling us old again. Oh, yeah, yeah, how are the orcs gonna know about the essential vitamin riboflavin? Isn't that like vitamin B6 or something? It, it is one of the B, the B vitamins. Greetings, alchemist. Hmm, let's see what's on tap today. Alright, we can actually buy some items here. Mildly mask me from sight for one minute. Oh, wow, okay. I don't think we really need to buy anything, though. Let's just buy a, two of those, because why not? Why not? All right, final soldier. Greetings, Pierre. Quiet, this bank. They are listening. We must use the code. The moose is tall and brown, but today he feasts on haggis. Hmm. Let's see. Gotcha. Lower the moose, and we can all get the haggis out of here. I hear the yellow snow is delicious this time of year. Seems like a pretty high maintenance moose to me. You pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. A moose once bit my sister. 
I kind of like the yellow snow joke. I do, I do. I hear the yellow snow is delicious this time of year. Be serious, this thing. The underground is relying on you. I don't understand you, Pierre. Use your words. Sigh. Go lower the drawbridge and get us out of here. Why didn't you say so? No problemo. Bien. So you know the password then? Pass. Word. You don't know the password? You can't get past the guard without the password. Sure, I know it. The password is... Hmm, justice, vanquishing, downtrodden, or strawberry shortcake. I'm going with this one. Strawberry shortcake. Despang, please. Without the password, the escape plan will fail before it begins. I guess I'm gonna need to find that password. Any ideas? Ugh, if I knew that, I would already have it. Fine, I'll figure something out. The revolt begins now! Vive la revolution! Ha! The only thing revolting around here is your face! Zing! I agree with that, Deathbank. Oh, it's Sandy. Sandy. Juan Giorno, Pierre. Alright, that, let's see if I, how we can find out about this. The turtleneck is only fashionable during speeches. But my unsightly jowls are well hidden from public scrutiny. A turkey without jowls is like a balloon without sunshine. Bach needs practice, this bank. You just asked me to the prom. Well, I didn't hear a no. Does he just have a bunch of things to say here? It looks like it. Dancing with monkeys is exceptional, except for the dung. No means no, Despank. Darn. Perhaps I could get the password of a brutally deaded orc. Mmm, unlikely. It is a little known fact that orcs have no pockets. Then how do they carry their keys? Uncomfortably. Where can I obtain a super secret password? The name of the game is Espionage. You must go where they least expect, where they let their guard down, and listen. Eavesdropping is very rude. <laughs> Not as rude as imprisoning people in a POW camp. Hmm. I haven't seen that password anywhere. Use all your senses, Despank. Not just your eyes. Gotcha! I'll use all five of my senses. Sight. Smell. Ears. Um, Groucho. And, uh, Bludgeon. Very, very good, Despank. Yeah. Au revoir, Despank. Do, do any other soldiers say something if I choose that first option? I didn't choose that last time, I did say. Greetings, little so I'm still trying to forge those identification papers. Don't delay, old boy. I can't go another day in this ghastly place. Tea without crumpets? This might as well be Canada! Oh, and that is awful. Need a spring into action! No crumpets. Oh. So now we have everything that we need in order. Well, actually, no, we don't have anything yet. We we know what we have to do. Required a disguise to fool the orc guard. Please hurry. I can't stand the inhumanity of our treatment. The bad salts in my three o'clock spa make me smell like lavender. Oh, the horror! The horror! Dismiss, soldier. All right, so we have to find a disguise on the clothesline. We have to find a super secret password, and we have to get documents. Well, we have to just Consume forge d documents. Cookies to unlock hints on how to complete quests. They're great for adventurers on calorie reduced diets. Yeah, we are an adventurer on calorie re reduced diets, so we can yeah we can use our fortune cookies to figure out how to do some of these quests here. There's a lot of quests. Look at these, but they go pretty pretty quickly. Jungle beasts. Okay, let's get rid of these darn jungle beasts, yes. Yeah, there we go. These fools are fast, look, look at them. There we go. Uh, oh no, it, it, that didn't even kill him either. There you go. You will not prevail against Death's Bank. Okay, this is a storage. Found is empty. 
I think this is this is new. The storage chest. I don't remember seeing storage chests in, in the first game. It has a nice a nice thong on it. The explosive barrel. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, so we just got it. Got out of the uh, the mess area, the kitchen, the mess area, the POW yard, interrogation aisle. Well, we definitely got to head over there. What's over here? Chickens? Interrogator chicken, huh? Excuse me. Ch chickens, chickens. You are quite big. You better kill me as well. There we go. I will eat some of your delicious meat now. Thank you. There we go. Ooh. We got a big old daddy chicken over there now. All right, fry those suckers. So do the chickens do the interrogating? Is, is, is that what it is? They would just interrogate the soldiers? If so, that is honestly quite, quite terrifying. All right, do I have to fight that big chicken? I don't know. I want to kind of le lure all the small ones away first. Yeah, he's, he's level three. I don't think I can I can defeat this guy. Wait, yeah, again. Got to keep blocking. We want to fry this sucker. Yes. Yes. Alright, so we found an item to write with. A chicken quill. Now, he, he if, if you notice, his level number, like, all these chickens are, like, level 2. And that pretty much shows, like, what level you should be at if you want to fight them with relative ease. But, but that chicken there was a level 3 chicken. So, yeah, he was a bit tougher than the other ones, but we still took that sucker out. There we go. Alright, Death Bank, what's in the chest? Now, in the first game, there were so many chests that had keys to them that you needed to use a treasure chest key in order to open it. I remember that there were so many chests that we could not open because we didn't find treasure chest keys. Like, you constantly had to backtrack. I'm pretty sure that is all fixed in this game. They have not done that in this game because... That would just make it a bit a bit too tiresome to go back to old areas. Well, what is that other thing that we picked up too? Copper wrist watch. We need to be at least level level two to equip that. And we're not we're not even close to a level up yet. Get rid of all these beasts. Oh, there's a big beast. Excuse me, big beast? Yes. We will take you out. There we go. Oh no. No! Oh, the little, little beast killed us. And dropped our money. Okay, so that's what happens when we die. We, we, we lose some of our money. And we go back to the, to the most recent outhouse. There we go. These are not teleportation outhouses, though. Excuse me, sir. I will buy a few more of those chickens. Greetings, Elk. Mm. Thank you. There we go. Thank you so very much, sir. Right, let's go pick up our money again. We mustn't allow that money to go to waste. Look at it. It's sitting there. These things were so tiny, I didn't even see it. There we go. Collect a, a uniform. Remember, these things were eating the laundry. So that is th that is why they have bits of the uniform. Just hey, just eating the laundry. It's like, where did my costume go? Uh, I think those uh, beasts ate it. They sure did. Oh, big boy here. Big daddy.
long as you block, it won't do much damage. There we go. All right, we have another big boy here. There we go. Give me those clothes. All right, this is it, I think. There we go. So now we have an, a uniform. We actually have it equipped right now, I believe, too. Yeah, look at this. It's all equipped. And we can see our thong right through it. So, I mean, the orc should be, you know, a little bit smarter to realize that, you know... Is this, is this a rat here? These rodents protect my shoulders and steal my cheese. <laughs> ah, Rooster, why do you do that? I think this is also another healing item, it looks like. The potatoes. Not, not as much, though. The potatoes do not heal as much. So yeah, every single item has a... No health, lots of pokiness. Every, every single item has dialogue, which... I just don't even read. I really don't, because there's just so much. There's so much to do. There's so much stuff. Alright. Control point. More jungle beasts. Oh, actually, no. This was a jungle what? Jungle squid? Squidward, what are you doing in the jungle? Get out of here, Squidward. Oh, big old purple Squidward, huh? There we go. Now we found something to write with. So we literally now, if we look at our quest... No, that's not it, that's not it. And we got a level up, wait, did we get a level up? No, we didn't get it. Once we complete a quest, then we... It ends up healing healing us. And when we get a level up, it heals us as well. So all we have to do now is, uh... Oh no, we had to find paper to write on, and we had to learn the secret password. We haven't quite done that yet. Hey, okay, where are you, Squidward? Squidward? There you are. You will not escape Death Bank. Something else to mention also, the music in this game is identical I to the first one. This detail. Tell me about it. Hmm. Good spot for eavesdropping. Anyway. Yeah, the uh, music, the sound effects. It's pretty much exactly the same as, as the first game as well. Oh, slime. Sli oh, explosive slimes. Slime, what the heck are you doing? Ooh. Do not like, like these explosions. Oh, he's immune to electricity, I see. Okay. We are about to get a level up. I bet once we kill that big slime, we're gonna level up. Try to get rid of the small slime first. There we go. Alright, big slime with like a bunch of branches in them. A train oozing creeper, huh? Oh, he poisons us. Oh, that actually healed him. That's not good. Let's make sure that we don't do that again. Leveling okay. up strengthens my abilities and gives me a new hero card. Do it early, do it often. All right, so we just leveled up. So if we bring up... Excuse me, sir, just wait. Just, just, just hang on to that thought for a moment. Okay, so now we get a level up this bank. Let's see. You move 5% faster, you can use uh, armor one level higher, your block. Usually these are the best things to get first. Ubrick's armor lesson. Yeah. There we go. Ow! Huh? What's the matter? I can't go! I ate too much gnome! Oh, not too much gnome. 
Say something to help me relax. Well, our password is pretty relaxing. It's... And the mighty orc marks back. <sighs> wow. Disgusting. Now, first of all, how is it even fitting? Ew, wait, wait, wait. Is this crap coming down? There you go, desk pack. Yeah, just go right up in it. Yeah. Yeah, how is it even in there? Because first of all, if you look at the toilets, they're like 2D. Anyway, this is disgusting. So this is all crap here. All the crap just kind of goes here. And that's what creates those goo monsters. So we just, we just fought crap. We just literally just fought crap. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, let us continue on. So now we have all the things that we need in order to go across this bridge. Sometimes to finish a quest, you need to combine items inside your inventory. I know that's a pretty incredible concept, so I'll give you a moment to recover. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like so shocked right now. It's like I cannot believe that combining items is a thing in any video game. Incredible. Oh. Halt! Who goes there? I am totally an orc like yourself. See my uniform? You ugliest orc I ever seen. You sound like my mom. Show me your identification papers. Hmm. You don't need to see my identification. Show ID or you see stars. Now, now. Violence isn't the answer. No, violence is question. Yes, please is answer. Ouch! Fine, I'm going. Happy? That's what happens if you don't have all the requirement yet, but we actually do. So we have to... Oh gosh, there's toilet paper. A roll of standard issue orc trooper toilet paper. Use with care. So yeah, we have to combine these three items together. Dumping ink on this paper would be unwise. <laughs> we gotta put it in here first. There you go. Now we have a single feather taken from an interrogator chicken. The tip has been dipped in ink. There we go. Name, Fred Q. Rumpelstanger. Race, Orc. Now here's the Snowy Mount Mountain Dungeon. We'll take a look at that later. Let's take a look at... What's our note say? Captured by Orcs. Too wounded to escape. So sick of potatoes. I'm getting pretty handy with this potato skinner device, mind you. <sighs> Feeling slightly better. Can now move my... Can now move my third... Through ninth toes, though. Though those are the important ones, so the others can take five if they like. Take it easy, other toes. My strength is returning. My fellow pow chums and I attempt to escape dozens of times, but didn't quite get outside the walls. These orcs locked the doors, so obviously, when you think about it, so obvious when you think about it. Curse those orcs. For too long, I've sat here and peeled their apples of the earth. My wounds are healed, and it's time to bust out of this joint. Yeah, that's just pretty much Death Spang's uh, diary right now. And this tells you how much... Look at that, we're already 6% complete the entire game. Isn't that amazing? It tells you how many, how many quests we've done, how many side quests. We've only done main quests so far, we haven't done any side quests. How much armor, areas visited. How many treasure chests we've opened, how much money. Chickens butchered, 15. It keeps track of chickens. Humanoids killed, robots smashed, insects squashed, undead, un re-deaded, bosses vanquished. <laughs> Interesting. Show me your identification papers. Of course, good sir. I have them right here. Ooh. Is everything in order? I, uh... If you need some help reading it from there, I could... No, no! Those papers are okay! Of course they are! The Lone Barrel of Barks at Midnight! Hmm... Twelve monkeys, eleven hats, one monkey is sad. <laughs> oh, one monkey is sad. And yet he prays for the colony justice of High Noon. Perhaps we can pick this up again later. And the mighty orc barks back. And the mighty orc barks back! You free to pass! 
There we go. We've earned our first achievement. Orc Imposter. Hey, you're that death spell. Yes, I am. I am indeed that death man guy. There we go. We got a nice gate key. I like how it took him that long to realize. There you go, and just like that, we have upgraded our... Wait, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, so we can actually get, get rid of this crap now, too. Rooster, sorry. Follow this handy advice closely to succeed in adventuring. So, yeah, we can just pick up the grinder. Just move it. Just grind our old equipment that we don't need anymore. There we go. Okay, that's right, we also got a, got a new weapon too. 150 damage. I guess I can replace this sword here. Maybe we can go ahead and, and grind this sword up. There we go. And we also got a new healing item, nachos. A heroic blend of beans, cheese, and justice. I don't, I don't know about you, Deathbank. If you think nachos are heroic. There we go. Out of order. Okay, good. First aid station. Thank you. So that is a healing potion. That that can quickly heal you, as opposed to eating items, which slowly heal you. Alright, time to use our red key and get the heck on out of here. The revolt begins now! Vive la revolution! Go, my brothers! And they all just died. Well, no, just died. Didn't this bank? Attacks can be avoided by heroically blocking. Blocking protects me from all attacks and most criticism. <laughs> and most criticism. That's right. Point to this bank. If if someone's criticizing you, just block them. Just block them. This guy has a flamethrower. This guy's best dealt with at a long range. There we go. Uh, sorry, sorry, brothers, but you, you you died like immediately. We didn't even see you die. Deathbank has many friends. Plugging in a second controller will allow another adventurer to join the game and defend justice. That's right. This game, much like the first game, has two players. So yeah, you can have a teammate come and play with you. The teammate can greatly assist you in many ways. We will take a look at that in just a moment. Actually, yeah, hang on. Let me actually turn on the Sega Sega controller right now and see. This is what my sister and I did when we uh, played this this game. We pretty much, uh, you know, did a. Uh, Let's see, how do I... Hmm. Normally it says, like, press start. But, uh... I don't know, I'm not- I'm not seeing that- that option right- right now. Okay, well I will have to take a look at that later, because we will definitely see some of the... Uh... Unlockable- well, not really unlockable, but just characters you can play as by uh, having us take a controller. Let's take a person to play with you. This game has more characters than the first first game did. Okay, we, we're gonna have to eat soon. He's darn gu a gunman though. There we go. Okay, let's, let's eat our potatoes. 
potatoes har hardly heal us at all. We have to eat them. You you plucked them, Deathbank. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat them. Eat all those amazing potatoes, Deathbank. Yes. Hmm. Nothing like good, delicious potatoes. He just eats them all raw, too. Can you believe that? There we go. You are now fully stocked, my good sir. Alright, we have a few more enemies here. Then we have the boss. Despank, that was your last potato that you peeled. Hopefully it was delicious. Uh, trinket of terrible things. Yes, it automatically equipped for us. Gives us a 3% fire damage. I mean, well, 3% 3, 3 fire resist. Alright. Looks like it's time now for the boss. Wait, 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 wait let's continue to, to get rid of all these enemies. Oh gosh, he's burning us alive. This bank, eat your chicken. All right. That's right, if they go too, too far off screen, they will just go back with full health. There we go. Alright, looks like it's time now to fight this boss. He's kind of looking, looking at us. He's looking our way here. Like, how did you escape? The Commander Rourke. My incredible monocle sees through your disguise, Deathbank. The Nordic master requires weapons and peeled potatoes. No unkept hero such as you may defeat me. You will work until you die. Oh, well, I just ate all of your potatoes, sir, so hopefully you're not mad. Yeah. Your Nordic master will be peeling you off the floor. There you go. That's right. Zip up your thong. More than your stylish hair and prison abdominals to defeat me. Die, minor character. Yeah, you are a minor character. Ugly murder armor set. No, jungle murder armor set. Okay. I thought it said ugly murder armor set. Oh gosh, that does a lot of damage. <laughs> Gotta remember to heal. We had, an, we had a plane that that it went down. What did the plane do? Oh, it, it like dropped dropped a bomb. Like, no, I guess not. I don't I don't know what the plane did. This guy is level 4. Oh, it's just dropping more enemies down. That's what it's doing, okay. Continue to eat this bank. Darn, he, he interrupted us. We're like overwhelmed here with these guys. Let's just focus on the, the main guy. That's right, he can actually attack his own kind. I guess the enemies will just keep spawning indefinitely. Alright, just thank you. Yes, eat your chicken. 
Because you should have bought some more. That's tough. Alright, let's just keep going around. Turn on heat and rip our healing. Try to lead him out. Lead all these fools over to this thing. Darren, I, I got caught on fire now. Heal, heal, heal. There we go. He's about half health or so. This is the tough, like, first boss. Eat your chicken, eat your chicken. And look at all these dead orcs. So many of them. Don't die on me, Despank. Don't, don't die, it's your last chicken. We're gonna have to use nachos after this. This fool is almost dead though. That is that is the good good news. We still have enough healing potions and everything. Healing potion for that one. Here we go. Alright, let's equip our nachos. We have six nachos. Alright, there we go. The nachos heal a lot more than the other ones. Than our chicken did. did. This guy doesn't have much health left. Yes! Sandy! Sandy's there again. Alright, now I gotta kill all his henchmen. All his henchmen that he left left behind. He didn't take your henchmen, sir. Okay, so we got another new uh, weapon here. Take a look. I guess we'll replace the electricity thing. Let's see what this one does. This says... This... The classiest weapon of all time. Hold down attack to charge up shots. Let's take a look. Oh, I see. Okay. wonder what the uh, charge attack does. They're just running around not knowing what to do. I guess I could have shot him from a distance, but honestly, targeting, locking onto him would have been very d difficult to do because... There you go, healing potion. Because there's just so many guys that I would be attacking them. As opposed to the orc commander. There you go, give me all the healing potions. There we go, five max is all we can carry. Alright, what does Sandy want now? Sandy just just keeps bothering us over over here. Sandy, she just keeps va vanishing though. Maybe maybe she'll be up here somewhere. It looks like we're finally getting rid, getting out of this orc base, which is good. Mm -hmm. 
Excuse me, Johnny? Johnny R R Rumble? You're a g gingerbread man with, with a knife. Excuse you, sir. Poison grenades. That's good. It's good. Hey, okay, well, look at that. We've finally escaped the prison. Now we are back out into the main area. Which means we can finally... Whenever I die, I always reappear at these mysterious outhouses. This has pretty scary implications for the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, whenever you die, you, you respawn at, at an outhouse. But yeah, that's very true. Anyway, on dying, you will be automatically resurrected at the last activated outhouse. You can also teleport between discovered outhouses on the main map, but not inside dungeon. So what we were just in was considered a dungeon, so we couldn't teleport between those areas. But now this is our first outhouse that we can te teleport to. So we go into it and we can choose anywhere to teleport to. Pretty cool stuff there. But now it's finally time to head into the main area. Here's Sandy finally. Not gonna disappear on us, woman. Sandy. Braveter. Greetings, redhead woman. Oh, it's you. Hello, Deathbank. I have another important mission for you. Oh gosh. Your apology for not rescuing me. There are things you must learn, Deathbank. Boring part incoming. Forged in the ancient fires of Bacon, a master craftsman created six symbols of virtue and gave them to the purest of humans. Six noble thongs to stand against evil and remake the world as it once was. The thong of courage was bequeathed to a fearless prince to bind us together. The thong of compassion given to a devoted nun so we could all care again. The Thong of Peace was entrusted to a subject who would do anything to prevent war and suffering. To Santa Claus went the Thong of Generosity to brighten the young with hope. The Thong of Cuisine was given to a popular television chef. And finally, the most powerful Thong of them all, the Thong of Justice, was gifted to a valiant knight to watch over the weak and requite the wicked. Together, these men and women were known as the Order of the Thong. But humans are ambitious and wishful, and always desire more, and the Thongs corrupted those who wore them, turning virtues into vices, turning the power of the Thongs against us all. Spared from the fate of evil was the valiant knight whose Thong was lost. This Thong was never seen again. Present at the forging of the six thongs a generation ago was the granddaughter of the master craftsman, who knew the thongs were too powerful for man to wear and must be destroyed. She dedicated her life to finding the thongs of virtue and destroying them in the only remaining fires of bacon, found in a desolate place at the end of humanity, beyond the reach of the evil that is man. One by one, she sought the thongs, but the Order fought hard to keep that which corrupted and controlled their souls. It is a battle that is waged to this very day. What was the fate of the Thong of Justice? Lost for all time? Never to be found? This bank has it. We need to retrieve the thongs. Oh, and by the way, I've got another package I need you to deliver. Oh, God. Can't you get someone else to do it? This one's for a general way up north. Don't take too long getting to him. He gets rather... testy. If you need me, you know where to find me. Where? I don't know where, where to find you, Sandy. Oh my gosh, I was just cracking up during that whole sequence there. Santa Claus being given the, the, the thong of generosity. If, just imagine that, Santa Claus. Wearing a thong. I just can't. And then what the heck is the thong of cuisine? Oh my gosh, this... This this game. Look at that, the thong of cuisine. Oh my gosh, let's just, let's just re re read about these for, for a moment. 
The nun who has been corrupted by the evil of the Thong of Compassion can be found in this sanctuary in the dark forest. I need to kill her in a sp spray of justice and return her thong to Sandy. Santa Claus has been corrupted by the by the thong of generosity, and it's up to the vanquisher of evil to defeat the jolly man and recover his thong for Sandy. His lair is in the frozen wastelands of the sea. I'm pretty sure I know what list I'll be on after this. Uh, he'll be dead, right? Won't you be killing him? The thong of cuisine. What the heck is the thong of cuisine? <laughs> Has corrupted a famous chef who wears it. So, I'll need to kill her and return the thong to Sandy. Legend says there is a great chef who lives out west. Legend also says that the pyramids were built by aliens, so you know legends can be trusted. <laughs> oh. Oh. Gosh. Oh my gosh, this... This game. This game. Oh, yes. This makes me laugh so very much. Oh my gosh. Get rid of that crap, there you go. That was absolutely hilarious. Le Battlefield! Okay. Battlefield Outhouse. Excuse me, sirs, what are you shooting at? Do you mind, uh, here, I will help you with your mission. Just shoot at random things off in the distance. Nothing there. Greetings, soldier. Feeling gun ho about this really excellent war? Not at the moment, because we're having a hard time defending our position from the attacking orcs. Buck up, little soldier. I'm ready to help. Great! Listen, there's an orc Kong tower a little ways to the west of our current position. Problem is that we ain't sure where it is and nobody is willing to go out and look. Leave it to me, cowardly soldier. Greetings, soldier. Let's see what he has to say about these thongs. What can you tell me about generosity? That's top secret. Who told you about that? What can you tell me about compassion? The most compassionate person I've met during this war is the town medic. Hmm. Goodbye, soldier. Who told you about it? Who told you about that? Okay. Here's our storage chest. Uh, lost and... We know, lost and found is empty. Okay. Gosh, I'm just... I need a break from this, from this game. I'm just, I'm just laughing at this crazy nonsense. Like, what the heck? Alright, let's, let's head over here, I guess. Scrap metal. Obviously the scrap metal is going to be used for something, right? What did that do exactly when I, like, used the time thing on him? Did it make it so they can, uh... This luck has a heart, a straight line, and a horseshoe on it. Huh. Well, we'll have to remember that for later. Nothing we can do now, I guess. But yeah, I'm not sure what that weapon abilities ability did. I just hug the outskirts as much as we can, then we're, then we're adventure on inward. Give me that scrap metal, sir. Yes, thank you. I must acquire this scrap metal. Let's see, what does that do? Are they attacking their own kind? Kind of looks like it. I don't want to get too close to this guy because there's like a bomb right behind him. There we go. Oh, a submachine gun, huh? We may need to use a little bit of that. More scrap metal. Okay, so that's actually put or this submachine gun up. If I press up, I can use it. Because it is limited. We have 150 bullets we can use. 
There's someone here by the by the navy dock. It looks like there's also like a cave over to the left here. Nothing we can get to yet though. Let's nice try out our weapon. Just like that, we already used up our submachine gun. Darn it, I knew we were gonna die. I just wasn't... I didn't want to heal just just, just yet. I was just like, oh no, let me, let me de de defeat him. I, I know that I can. Darn, okay. There you go. You gotta eat up your not nachos now, Death Bank. You need to eat up your nachos of justice. The lost and found. Nope, nothing is lost and found. Okay. Okay, so now I guess we're just go a little bit more towards the inside area. Take care of these guys here. It's interesting, yeah, is that, that weapon kind of like puts them on our side momentarily. Okay, we had another s- oh. So this is actually- I think this is the, the twirly blade sword. Which is definitely something that I- that I want. I think this was also new for this game. It says level 3 through 8, so you can't use the weapon if you're past level 8. Scrap metal, please. Thank you. We're collecting this scrap metal for a good reason, sirs. Yes, we are. What that reason is, we don't even know yet. But obviously, we are an avid collector of scrap metal. Can we get rid of the scrap metal? Yes, we can. So honestly, I don't think it has any use. It's just, it's just a cell. It's just scraps. I don't know. Possible maybe someone wants it, but I doubt it. You normally, you normally, you, you cannot sell it. Yes, well, I mean, it, it wouldn't just be laying around though, would it? I don't know. Okay, we, we found the tower. Darn, this guy was attacking me during the cutscene. Hmm. But we can't destroy it or do anything with it. All right. A few more enemies over here, and then I think we've ex explored this area. Oh, this is where I died before. Sir, you're the one who killed me before. You're going down. There you go. Give me that scrap metal. Yes, thank you. Yeah, another new, another new chess piece. Constantly. I mean, you're constantly swi switch, swapping weapons here. Swapping weapons, swapping armor, if all over the place. Lost, use your map. If you're still lost, open your eyes. Thank you, Deathbank. Uh, my eyes have been closed this entire time. <laughs> my eyes have been closed this entire time. <laughs> open your eyes. That's right. Whenever you're lost, look at a map. And if you're still lost, open your eyes. Here there we go, Navy Dock. Excuse me, sir, sir, sir. Let's check out the Navy Dock first before we talk to that guy. Oh, this just leads to the other side, yeah. We don't want to go over there just yet. Let's talk to this guy first. Greetings, soldier. Ugh! I can't believe this outfit! What's the problem? Meh! When I enlisted, they got my head size wrong. Not only is my head exposed, it's really cold, too! Then let me deal with your dual crisis of safety and fashion. Thanks! I recommend getting it from Pouclatet's armory, up in Lebeau, Cuckle. He carries the latest in combat apparel. All right, so we gotta go buy this sucker a helmet. Greetings, soldier. I don't want to spend my money. Have my helmet yet? No, I don't. Yet. But don't worry, your chilly little head. 
The hero Deathbank is on the case. He is, he is. Anyway, let's go back to this out outhouse since we did complete that quest. All right. We found the position of the comm tower. Greetings, soldier. I found the orc comm tower. Oh, I'm surprised you couldn't see it from here. Now yeah, it's so sir, obvious. Now, can you take this lit stick of dynamite and destroy it for me? I'll not only do it, I'll make it look easy. Great! Hold still while I light this. You're good to go! Alright, we have to run to it now. And I believe if we get hit, which is why I destroy uh, some of the enemies have respawned, but if we get hit, I believe it will. Oh no, I guess not, okay. There we go. I was thinking about something else then, I guess. There we go, perfect. So I was thinking, if you get hit, then it explodes on you, but nope, that's not was not the case. I like how these guys are just shooting, but they're not shooting anything in particular. They're lost and found. I know. Empty. Lost and found is always empty. Greetings, soldier. I've destroyed the Orc Com Tower. I know. I could hear the explosion from here. Now, our intelligence says that the Orc troopers are planning a big offensive. But if someone were bold enough to attack the troopers and steal their plans first... Bold is one of my middle names. I'll get those Orc battle plans. Greetings, soldier. Hmm. I don't have the orc's plans for you yet, soldier. Well, when you find them, please bring them back to me right away. I will. I will. Alright, so... I guess we can go up just a little bit more here. See if we can find their battle plans. Oh, that, that is why. So, the bridge is out there, which well, that's why we have to use use the dock. Let's just go around here, see if there's anything suspicious. You never know. Sometimes there, there could be a, u a unique enemy that you may need to kill in order to get those battle plans, but it doesn't look like it. Oh, no, yep, here he is right here. Colonel Orc. Colonel. What is an Orc doing here? I cannot control him, unfortunately, though. Ooh, that, that was like a nice, like, uppercut there. With your sword, death bank. There we go. We got his battle plans. So, yeah, even though we were already there, that enemy was not there, we have to activate the quest. That's why it's kind of like, ah, you just gotta look, you just gotta look. Alright, actually I did not need to heal because we just completed a quest. Darn. Okay, well let's head dead back to that guy. Now that this quest is complete, Anything else you want us to do for you, sir? Greetings, soldier. I have the battle plans. Great work. This will definitely help us get the upper hand on these orcs. Now, before the orc troopers have time to react, I need you to take these plans to HQ. Those plans are as good as delivered. Great. Take this pouch with the plans in it to the army general. He'll be up at the base by the town to the north of here. Throughout the land are hidden mighty rune stones. These arcane recipes teach you powerful techniques, like hitting two buttons at the same time. 
So he gave us our first rune stone here, the flaming monocle rune stone. Equip a melee fire weapon and a monocle and use them at the same time when the judge's meter is full to trigger a powerful, unique attack. I have such a hard time using these things, but we do have, I think we just got rid of our fire weapon actually, to be honest with you. Look at these amazing weapons that we have that we can't use just yet. We can get rid of those. Yeah, I just got rid of my fire. There you go. I did. I got, I, I got rid, of, rid of my fire weapon. But I do have the, mon the, the monocle. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't show that off, can I? All right, well, I think we may stop here. I think that's a good place to stop. We still have to deliver these plans and everything, but I think we will do that. Oh, wait, no, we, we can do it right here. We can do it right here, it looks like. Let's see. No, the Apple Soldier is... No, this is this is not the guy that we needed to... But we can talk to him, though. Greetings, soldier. I heard you're planning to get through the orc blockade. Why, yes. Should be child's play for a hero like myself. It's about time someone made a move to clear the bridge. Here, you'll need this bazooka to destroy that mega bomb they got blocking the road. Nothing makes a good deed worthwhile quite like a bazooka. Now that I say it out loud, it seems pretty odd to build a blockade out of bombs. But I find it's best not to ask questions. Just try to enjoy myself. That's the best thing you can do. Greetings, soldier. Have you destroyed the mega bomb yet? In due time. In due time. Alright, well, we, we, we have to destroy that, that mega bomb first. I mean, there's just no way around it. Before we quit this, we have we have to destroy that mega bomb. I guess it's gonna be right before the the butte knuckle. Yep, there it is. I see I see the mega bomb right if my now. Enemy is displaying its name with a cute little health bar. It's my current target. You're gonna smash that enemy to the ground. Thanks, Despec. Pick up that scrap metal, yes. Eat your amazing, amazing not nachos. I see these guys just like explode on you. Okay, so he's trying trying to attack the uh, the the mega bomb. There we go. So yeah, apparently you cannot just shoot down the the mega bomb. No, you gotta you use a bazooka. Get rid of this guy first. There we go. All right, let's equip our amazing bazooka. Aim away from my face or any part of my body, really. Okay. There we go. Everything exploded around it, yes. Give me all that. Okay, well here's this guy that we have to d deliver the thing to, and I think that is where we'll call it. Well, that sucks. Quest added. Use an outhouse. Library note. Well, let's see. For some saucy reading material, check out the Butte Knuckle Library. They have a great cooking uh, selection section. Well, we will check that out next time, sir. Okay. Yep, I think it's a good place to stop now. I mean, this... We got a bunch of people here. I'm sure one of the... Is that the general right right there? That might be the general, but... He has a quest for us to do, so... I'm just gonna wait until next time. I'm gonna go fulfill this quest over here with... The guy that wanted us to explode the, the Mega Bomb. 
There we go. Easiest quest to complete. Then we gotta get this guy his darn... Ugh. Helmet. Greetings, soldier. The bridge is clear. Thanks, Deathspank. If I survive this war, I'm gonna buy you a celebratory drink. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. Yeah, you could die any any moment, sir. Any moment. Okay. You do 10% more melee range. Get 10% more money. Okay, I think I'm gonna do 10% more... Okay, level 3, Master of Adventuring. An honorary master's degree in vanquishing. Health, damage, and blocking time have increased. Let's do more range damage. We, I know we don't do too much range damage, but it's good to try to get that up as high as possible, I guess. There we go. Greetings, soldier. Thanks for your help, Deathbank. You're very welcome, sir. All right. So let me equip my good weapons now. And then next time we will explore this town, see what quests we can do. There's our amazing swords. Okay, so we have now this spinny sword, yes. Wait a second, hang on a minute. There you go. Look, just like that, we have different armor and equipment and all that stuff already. Isn't that insane? That's why it's so good to have that, um... Always equip best armor selected. That way, you can just equip whatever best armor there is. I'm gonna move that to the left, actually, and I'm gonna do... Let's, like, add a grenade up top. Let's just do a regular grenade to, to use next time. Alright. The so next time... We will explore this... Darn it, where is it? There you go. Explore this town, see what other quests we can do. Now that we have escaped the war zone. I hope you enjoyed. Let me see real quick if the, uh... Like a player controller works. Otherwise, I gotta figure out uh, some other way of doing it. Yeah, for some reason it just doesn't. It's it's detecting it in the, in the game, but for some reason I can't. I don't know why. Anyway, I have to figure that out another time because I do want to show off those extra characters. So, you all take care. Have a great one. Hope you enjoyed this. Bye bye now.